a never-ending cycle, maintaining a large enough blood supply to meet the community's medical needs. It's a constant challenge because there's only 5% of the population in the United States donates. It's a very small percentage. Most people understand the need to collect blood for emergencies. Along with surgery, they are the top uses for blood. But what fewer people understand is the connection between cancer and blood donations. We have the Regional Cancer Center now. They use an average about 320 to 350 red blood cells a month. Those are blood units which are used in transfusions. Nurse Jenny Donahue helps administer them. Well, we have chemotherapy patients that become anemic, typically blood products are given because of anemia or low platelets uh, bleeding disorders. Some cancers, especially digestive ones, may cause internal bleeding which can lead to anemia. Oh, cancers that start in the bone marrow, marrow such as leukemia can affect the production and lifespan of red blood cells. And long-term cancer treatment can lead to chronic anemia. It makes cancer patients among the top users of blood products. When the physician feels that that patient is to the point where their anemia they're symptomatic or their blood counts are low, they would require a transfusion. It's one side effect that few cancer patients expect. And maybe they don't realize until they get to that part of their family member or somebody that has it to realize the importance of blood products. Given the number of people suffering from cancer, it makes the case for blood donation run much deeper. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.